When you're President of the United States, when you're a governor of a state, the, the memorized 30-second speech where you talk about how great America is at the end of it doesn't solve one problem for one person. They expect you to plow the snow. They expect you to get the schools open. And when the worst natural disaster in your state's history hits you, they expect you to rebuild their state, which is what I've done. None of that stuff happens on the floor of the United States Senate. It's a fine job. I'm glad you ran for it. But it does not prepare you for President of the United States. Chris. Chris, your state got hit by a massive snowstorm two weeks ago. You didn't even want to go back. They had to shame you into going back. And then you stayed there for 36 hours, and then he left and came back to campaign. See, Those are the facts. Here's the bottom line. This notion that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing is just not there true. There it is. He knows exactly what he's doing. There it is. The memorized 25-second speech. Well, that's the, that's there the it is, reason everybody. why this campaign is so important. Because I think this notion, I think this is an important point. I understand what we're going through here. We are not facing a president that doesn't know what he's doing. He knows what he is doing. That's why he's done the things he's done. You know That's why we have a president that passed Obamacare and the stimulus. All this damage he's done to America is deliberate. This is a president that's trying to redefine this country. That's why this election is truly a referendum on our identity as a nation, as a people. Our future is at stake. This election is not about the past. It is about what kind of country this is going to be in the 21st century. And if we elect someone like Barack Obama, a Hillary Clinton, a Bernie Sanders, or anyone like that, our children are going to be the first Americans to inherit a diminished country that you know, will not have Governor, Governor Christie, you know, Chris, why don't you make you know the, what the shame is? get into this? You know what the shame is, Marco? The shame is that you would actually criticize somebody for showing up to work, plowing the streets, getting the trains run back on time, when you've never been responsible for Chris, that in your entire life. Okay. And the, he didn't and, want to go back. And, and, and the fact is, I went back, it got done, and here's something. You didn't want to go back. I please. went back. Oh, so, uh, wait a second. Is that one of the, the skills you get as a United States Senator ESP also? Chris, everybody, I don't you think said it you is. weren't going to go back. The fact is, Marco. He told everyone he wasn't going to go back. And they had to shame him into going Marco, back. Marco, because. And then when he decided to go back, he criticized the young lady saying, what Marco, am I supposed you know to do, what? go back with a mop? By the way, clean up the it, gets, Chris, it, gets very, go back. it gets very unruly Christine. when he gets off his talking Thank you, Governor. I, I will mention you. It's your listen, record. It's not a talking point. It's your record. Governor Bush, I'll mention your name so that you can come in on this.